four pieces of this chain link made on our F370 out of the new TPU elastomer material from Stratasys is gonna hold this weight, okay? This part was about $30 in materials to make. $30! And it's gonna hold 270 pounds. Whoops. Let's check it out. Are you hitting me? That is off the ground. <laughs> All right. One more right. Any thoughts? <laughs> Let's go for five. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I'm Kevin from CAD Dimensions, and uh, we have this really cool new material from Stratasys. It is called TPU. It is an elastomer, which means it's really stretchy, but we want to know how stretchy. So we decided we would set up a little rig back here and see how much pressure we can put on this. So we have our water jug. Got this right from your average office cooler. All right, so we have our scale, mildly zeroed out. Let's give it a pound maybe, all right? So, floor's a little uneven. That scale works great. Nope. Oh, you gotta unlock it. Yeah. So, take away two pounds from, what do you got there? Just about 45 pounds. 45 pounds, okay. Give or take a couple pounds. So 45 pounds of water, we're gonna see if 45 pounds of water can be held up by just this little ring that we printed on our F370 series right here at Cat Dimensions. Okay. Forty-five pounds. We're off the ground. Are we? You can pull the pull this out of there. Yeah. It's just stuck with the tape. Yep. No trouble. Not bad. And as you see, it really had no problem holding up forty-five pounds. Maybe we were a little overcautious. Okay, so here we are in beautiful sunny upstate New York and we have hooked up a couple of cars. As you can see, we have a strap, but we have the connection between the strap being made with chain link made on our F370 using this TPU elastomer material. So we're gonna see if this chain link is gonna hold up this F150 pulling this, what is it? It's a, it's a Civic. I'm moving. We're rolling! Oh, we're moving! <laughs> Alright, so let's get a, see, uh, get a close up look and see how it held up. Not only it, did it stay intact, we have a little bit of tearing here, maybe a little bit, but you know, it's only a couple thousand pounds. No big deal. Okay. I think it held up pretty well. What do you think? Did Not it retain bad, its huh? shape? It, it, it retained its shape for a large majority of it. Again, maybe just a couple of places where it looks like it's uh, worn against itself. By and large, this looks like it's uh, just like it did before, before we did this. Okay, so we decided that it's kind of boring to just watch the material work really well because it does that all the time. We want to see what's it going to take to make it fail. So, we've hooked up Big Joe here. We have our chain link TPU material we printed on our F370. Uh, from Stratasys. This is our new elastomer material and we have two of these 45 gallon uh, jugs of water that we've set up to it. So now we're going to lift it up and see is this going to be enough weight on this chain link to make it give out. I don't think it is. Ah, look at that. Ah, look at that. Where to go for a So we have 135 pounds now. Three 45 pound, five gallon buckets of water. Let's see what happens. Cheers. Someone throw a fourth one on there right now. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, now I'm impressed. I'm Alright, put four of that. Alright, let it down. That's amazing. It held all three. Let's keep going. Let's add more. This is number four. We have four five-gallon jugs of water hooked up 
we have our elastomer material, which really, this is, you know, test number four, and it's really retained a lot of its shape. So let's see what happens if we do four, or four buckets now. Whoops. <laughs> Are you hitting me? That is off the ground. <laughs> All right. All right. Any thoughts? Five. <laughs> <laughs> We've got five five gallon jugs of water. Come on, Joe. <laughs> oh, 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 look at that. That's insane. We ran out of jugs of water. <laughs> We have to call the Culligan man. We're out of water. All right. <laughs> yeah, we have. We have to. Break Somebody it. jump on here. Five, five of these. Do Over we... 180 pounds. 180 pounds. No problem. 225 pounds. 225. It not only held over 225 pounds, but it actually came back to its original shape. It's amazing. Okay, so we we just experienced daylight savings time, and as you can tell, we're losing daylight here very quickly. So. Tomorrow, we're gonna to try and we're gonna try and kill this thing. I don't know what we're gonna do next. We're gonna to have to get creative, but we're gonna try. We're gonna to try to kill this. Stay tuned. Okay, so uh, clearly winter has kind of sprung up overnight here in upstate New York, and we are back outside. But we had to go and fill up more water bottles because our office ran out. We literally ran out of water bottles. What we've got here is now six jugs of water. This is almost 4,000 ounces of water, all right? About 270 pounds. And we're gonna see if we have one, two, three, four pieces of this chain link made on our F370 out of the new TPU elastomer material from Stratasys is gonna hold this weight, okay? This part was about $30 in materials to make. $30! And it's gonna hold 270 pounds. Let's check it out. <laughs> we have to keep going now. We can't stop until it dies. We're gonna have to do this. 315 pounds. This material, it, it, it's, it's unbelievable. Doesn't look any different. Let's add, a, let's add another. <laughs> yeah. We're up to nine jugs of water. We, we we had to go borrow some. We had to run to the raid the, raid the office building next door, get some empties, fill them up, cover them in duct tape, because we're out of them. We have over 350 pounds of water here, and this is, what did we end up figuring this was out? Almost four, over 400 pounds? 450 pounds? I was doing math. Well, 450 pounds of water. How much did this material cost to make? $30 of material. $30, that's it, right there. Almost. Wait, yeah, yeah, we are, we are. 405 <laughs> pounds, no problem. No problem. That doesn't even look like it's struggling. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, yeah. That's as high as the fork will go. Unbelievable, 405 pounds. It's about $35 of material to print. Pretty durable stuff. So we had to kind of reconfigure our rig here. We actually ran out of space and we had to uh, do a little engineering. It's a good thing we work here at CAD Dimensions where we have engineers galore. So this is the contraption now that we've come up with and we have done the math. If we include the pallet, the nine jugs of water and the brick in the middle, we're looking at over 480 pounds of weight. Again, let me remind you, this is four pieces of chain link elastomer TPU material. We printed this, it took about, I don't know, a couple of hours to print. 
couple of hours to print, $35. And it's going to hold, well, let's see how, how much it holds. 480 pounds. No problem. Oh! Not, not quite, not quite. Big. Not quite. Are you joking? No problem. 480 pounds was no problem. You can see, maybe, maybe there is a small little tear starting to happen in one of these links. That's it. That's it. And again, let me remind you, these are consecutive tests, okay? We're out here, it's 23 degrees. This material has no problem. We've added another brick. This brick added to the other brick. Over 520 pounds. Here we oh, yeah. go. <laughs> How many applications could you possibly have where you need to hold over 520 pounds using a piece of material you printed for about 30 bucks? <laughs> Not bad. 585 pounds now. We've, we've kind of rejiggered things a little bit so that we have a better view for you guys can see this. Again, let me just remind you, this is the exact same piece of material we've been using this whole time here. Here we go! It's off. It's off the ground. So. <laughs> now let me ask you this. Can you print something from the desktop printer in your corner office that'll hold a quarter of a... Okay, so... As you can see, we had failure, finally. Uh, 585 pounds, but really, it's just the one. Everything else, not only is not that bad, but it retained its shape. It came right back. One snap, that's it. That's all it took though, <laughs> 585 pounds. So these are together, they're not even... They're not even stressed. Wow. They're not even, not even an issue. I guess me doing this won't really do anything, huh? Probably not. Probably not. not. <laughs> So don't forget, this is a brand new elastomer material from Stratasys, okay? Really cool stuff called TPU. You can get it from CAD Dimensions. There's a link in the description below. Get a hold of us. We can print your products using this material. You can buy this. You can use this in your office right now today. Awesome stuff. Get a hold of us.